Hello, my name is Mrs Cole um, and I work in the Philosophy and Ethics Department at Hitchin Girls School. Some of you will have met me before during your GCSEs, but for some of you, I will be a new face. Myself and Mr Adams teach the course and we wanted to run through what will be expected of you during the A-level. So this is a quick introduction to the course, how it's organised, the skills you will need and some activities to help you work through your bridging project. So in terms of how the course is organised, the basics are that you'll have nine hours of philosophy and ethics a fortnight. Five of those are going to be taught by Mr Adams and four of them will be taught by myself, Mrs Cole. There will be some pre-recorded pre-learning each week so that you can make sure that you're keeping on top of all of your work. And there will be five hours of study time outside of lessons each week. So in terms of the organisation of the course, it's divided into two key components for this A-level. The first one is philosophy and ethics, and that's 1A. And 1A being philosophy, 1B being ethics. The second part is the study of Christianity and dialogues. Mr Adams will be teaching the philosophy, Mrs Cole teaches the ethics, and the religious part will be taught by both of us across the two years. This is taken from the specification and it explains to you who is sort of teaching what. So the first component, component one, is philosophy and ethics. Component two is the study of religion and dialogues. The course is assessed by timed essays every half term. You also will do mocks at the end of year 12 and halfway through year 13. And it's most likely you'll do a third mock just before or after Easter in year 13. The A-level is 100% exam. And that is two three hour long papers that you'll sit at the end of year 13. I can imagine that the prospect of a three hour exam paper sounds quite daunting at this stage. But believe me, by the time you reach it, you will be very, very capable of writing for that long. And for many students, they wish they had longer. The questions in the exam are all essay based. And for the philosophy and the ethics questions and the Christianity questions, you don't have any choice. You have to answer all of them. When it comes to the dialogues, which is a special type of essay, there is some choice involved. So extended writing skills really are an advantage for this particular course. The average lesson generally will hopefully be quite relaxed. You can expect a range of discussion and written activities. There's often group and individual work. And we might also look at various video clips and different things to help you embed the learning. Whilst we do do a range of active learning tasks, it's important that you understand that the majority of lessons will be straightforward classroom type lessons because there's a lot of information that we need to get through a lot more than you would have had in your GCSE. There's almost constant evaluation activities. You'll spend a lot of time generating your own ideas and thinking things through. And you will need to spend a reasonable amount of time, probably five hours per week, revising, recapping, going over notes and pre-learning. What we will expect from you at A level, there's a few things that you should be aware of from the very beginning. If you join the class, you have to have self-motivation. You have to be organised. You will not be able to succeed without that. Unless you're an absolute genius at philosophy. It's going to be a tough course. It will be really interesting. It will be fun. But unfortunately, to begin with, you will find yourself a bit confused, possibly a bit disorientated because the complexity of the questions that we're interested in might make you feel a bit lost to start with. And believe me, that's completely normal. It happens every year and students learn to love just the kind of complex nature of the subject. So you have to have a real resilience to be able to manage that. You have to also be quite an independent mind 
and you have to think that actually the textbook will only take me so far. You have to be interested in the questions for their own sake. You have to want to explore them and you have to be willing to read around the subject. Now, there is a gap between the GCSE and the A-level and your project that you've been set for over the summer is to bridge that gap. Now, I'm going to talk you through that now so that you've got an idea of what you need to do. The primary tri transition product project is divided into three parts, just like the A-level is. It's a philosophy part, an ethics part and a Christianity part. So you'll need to have a read through the project. If you get stuck on any aspects or need some guidance, myself and Mr Adams have our email addresses here, so please do feel free to use them. For the philosophy part, there will be an awful lot of new key terms. For some of you, these will be familiar. For others, this will be new content. So you need to work out, do some research and find the meanings of these key words. For the next part, there is an online course called Crash Course Philosophy. If you click on this link, it will take you to the YouTube link for the Aquinas and the Cosmological Argument. You need to watch that. And believe me, you may need to watch it more than once in order to understand it. And then answer the questions that go along with it. Again, you've got another Crash Course Philosophy here, which is all about intelligent design. You need to watch what the teleological argument is and then outline Paley's argument there. And then the final argument is the ontological argument. You will learn about all of these in the first year of the course, but this gives you a really good intro. So each of these blue um, kind of links takes you to a different lesson that you can learn um, and a different video you can watch with activities afterwards. Once it's submitted, you will get some what went well and how could you close the gap? So how could we improve our work for future reference? The ethics part gives you the opportunity to be a little bit more creative. You need to think of an ethical dilemma. So that's basically a problem where people have found something to be right and wrong. You then have three very short summaries of three of the key ethical theories we'll look at during the first year of the course. You need to outline your ethical dilemma and then say, how do you think each of the theories would respond to that particular dilemma? When it comes to Christianity, you've got some questions. The basics website about Christianity will give you some guidance. You have to remember that it is a Christian website though, and it's a tool to help you understand key beliefs. Not all Christians will agree with the ideas and not all of these ideas will be agreed with by everybody because we have atheists and agnostics and they might be critical of these points. But this is designed to help you find out a bit more. Now, just because there's only a little bit of a gap doesn't mean that's all you have to write. They will expand as you write in it. The other task that you've got which is an optional task. You don't have to complete all of these, but I would recommend you try and do some of them, is first of all, to complete the transition tasks, the transition project, which is what I've just shown you. You've then got all sorts of different tasks that you can work through. Some of them involve you watching um, documentaries on Netflix. Some of them are a bit more in-depth reading. And if you click on each of the guide, the blue um, bits in the box, it will get you to the guide bit that you need. Some of it is about watching films. It's entirely up to you which tasks you decide to do from this. But I would try and complete some of them because if you're interested in studying philosophy and ethics further, this will really give you a head start when it comes to the A-level. So as I said, it doesn't matter if you've studied philosophy and ethics before, or if you're doing it with us for the first time now. If you get stuck on anything, please do get in touch. Use our email addresses, which are on the documents, and enjoy the tasks, have fun, and we can't wait to teach you in September. So good luck, and we will see you all soon. Take care, bye-bye.